For the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. Hello, Pokemon fans! I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries and your Gainesville Greninjas. We are here for week number one of Major League Pack Battles, season number four. Now, if you guys remember way back when, we're talking about a little over a year ago, we participated in the MLPB of uh, season number two. And at that point, we went all the way through first place in our division, first place in our conference, and we lost in the finals to Dallas the Deals and his Milwaukee Mill Tanks for the championship. So we are the runners up for season number two, coming back to hopefully claim a title this time around. And we are looking forward to the season for sure. Dallas the Deals is also in our division as well. So that's gonna be a lot of fun this year. So if you guys don't know what Major League Pack Battles is, if you're brand new to it, let me just give you guys a quick rundown because there is a website, majorleaguepackbattles.blogspot.com. And here we have our facts first and foremost. So what is Major League Pack Battles? It is a Pokemon trading card game, Pack Battle League, founded in August 2015 by Team Booster Break, who is a Poketuber that I was really good friends with. Uh, he doesn't do Pokemon videos anymore, but he did found it where 32 teams battle using three booster packs through eight weeks until our, and the playoffs to determine the champion. So why make a league that's 100% uh, luck based? Well, the thing is there's also a competitive pick, which a competitive pick is a card from a set that a player chooses to receive boosted point values if they pull it from their three booster packs. If multiple competitive card uh, pick cards are pulled, they all count. So here's how the scoring works. In the standard scoring system, reverse hollow rare is worth one point, hollows are worth two, breaks are worth three, EX and GX are also worth three points, full arts are worth four, and secret rares being the typical secret rare and also your rainbow rares are worth five points. Now competitive picks, we get to pick any card we want from the set. If that card is an uncommon and we pull it, it's an additional one point. Uncommon, two additional points. Rares, additional three points. Hollows, four additional points. Breaks, five, also same for EX and GX. And Full Arts are six points if we pull them. If we uh, pick a, a Hyper Rare, I'm sorry, Rainbow Rare or a Secret Rare, we get an additional seven points for that card. So if you pull a, let's just say a Rainbow Rare Sylveon, right? You get seven plus the five. That's 12 total points for that card. Pretty solid. And if there's a tie, we're going to be doing it in a way that uh, gives us a defined winner instead of ties, because ties actually affected season two quite a bit. So condition number one, the highest card value battle. If player A pulls a full art and play, play, player B pulls two hollows, player A wins because they pulled the card at the highest value. Condition number two, sudden death typing battle. If they both pull a full art, then let's just say uh, we'll go by typing advantage. Houndoom versus Glalie. Glalie wins because Houndoom is weak to water. If it's a Pokemon versus a supporter, the Pokemon automatically wins. Then there's a sudden death HP battle. If there's no winner via typing advantage, we go to an HP battle. This one's obvious. Highest HP wins. If it's a Pokemon versus a supporter, then the Pokemon automatically wins. If for some reason uh, both players scored zero points, they'll use the non hollow rare card they pulled from their final pack and go through conditions two and three. If that still ties, then the winner decided via coin flip with the away team making the call. So there are no ties at all whatsoever. And the current commissioner for the uh, MLPB is Stealthless, if you did not know. Stealthless is also the coach for the Green Bay Gallades, and uh, he's participating as well. Uh, team Booster Break obviously retired. He was the owner of Scranton Scizors, but he no longer participates or is uh, active in the Pokemon community. So let's take a look here real quick through the teams. Uh, we have four divisions. We've got the Coco Division. Uh, we have the Bulu Division. We have the Lele Division. And we also have the Feeny Division. So um, in our division, we've got the Bay Area Mewtwo's, who is owned by Pokeclutch. We've got the Birth Island Bidoof's, owned by, well, you guys probably know him as Water and Grass, but now he is known as a bit oddish. Cincinnati, Cincinnati Scythers, piloted by Pokeballt. Then there's us, the Gainesville Greninjas. We have the Madison Meowth, who is owned by the Cat's Meowth. Milwaukee Mill Tanks, owned by Dallas The Deals. And then we also have the PDX Pikachus and the Texas Rangers. Um, I don't know them personally, but uh, PDX Pikachus are run by Shy Guy Pokemon, and also the Texas Rangers from HLD Productions. So on our team, the Gainesville Greninjas, our first opponent this week is going to be against the Cat's Meowth and her Madison Meowths. So uh, you guys are gonna wanna check out her channel and her video uh, to see who wins this particular battle. And then next week you face off against 
uh, Jesse, aka Water and Grass, aka now known as A Bit Oddish. So if you guys don't follow A Bit Oddish, go subscribe to them as well. Then we face off in a grudge match. The Milwaukee Mill Tanks is going to be our our week three opponent. That will be a matchup of last or sorry season two's finals. We're off on week number four. Then we face Pokey Clutch and the Bay Area Mewtwo's. Also, then against uh, Pokeball and the Cincinnati Scythers. And then week number seven and eight, we face off against PDX Pikachu's Texas Rangers. And then we've got the Madison Meows for the final week, as well as the first week. So we're going to focus on week number one this time around. Sorry for all the explanations, but I just want to make sure you guys know what's going on against the Cat's Meowth and her Madison Meowths. I'll have links down below to her channel and as well to her video. Now... Let's get started. So first and foremost, my competitive pick for this opening is going to be Pseudo Widow, which is an uncommon card number 66 out of 145. Pseudo Widow has the ability Roadblock. Your opponent can't have four, more than four benched Pokemon. If they have five or more, they discard bench Pokemon until they have four on the bench. And if more than one effect changes the number of bench Pokemon allowed, use the smaller number. So Parallel City will still put it down to three, but Pseudo Widow, as long as it's in play, your opponent can't have more than four benched Pokemon. So it's also a competitive card, which is why I've chosen it and is worth two additional points as an uncommon. So we're gonna see if we can pull some Pseudo Widows to boost our point values. All right, lots of stuff to say, guys. If you weren't aware of what the MLPB was, there's no doubt in my mind you guys know what it is now going forward, and make sure you guys check out all the teams involved in the MLPB, which you can check out by going to MajorLeaguePackBattles.blogspot.com and going to MLPB Teams. So, for the MLPB, we use three pack blisters every single time of every set. Week number one is Guardians Rising, two is Sun and Moon, three, I believe, is Evolutions, four is Steam Siege, and then we start over again with Evolutions, then, or, sorry, uh, Guardians Rising, uh, Sun and Moon, then Evolutions, then Steam Siege for the final week. So we're going to start off here with this Vikavolt three-pack blister of Guardians Rising. Man, oh man, what a mouthful. At least I don't have to say this for week number two, so if you guys are still here, hey, thanks for listening to the whole explanation, and hopefully you guys now have a really good understanding of what the MLPB is and what you do with it. All right, so here's the Vikavolt. This is Sun and Moon promo number 28 with Strong Charge. we got a Metagross coin in here. We've already opened this up before, so no big deal. All right, we're going to start off here with our Lycan Rock Pack. Good luck to you, Cat's Meowth and your Madison Meowths. I just uh, hope we manage to pull some good stuff here today. All right, first pack. We've got one, two, three, one over there, and two. All right, we've got a Petalil, Fletchling, a Lowland Geodude, Barboach, Rock Roof. It's funny because I almost picked him too, just because of the name. <laughs> Choice Band, Matang, Clefable, Reverse Hollow is a rare, so that's one point on the board. Ding! That gives us a Reverse Hollow Conch Crow and a Tapu Coco GX. So four points out of our very first pack. That is awesome. Puts us right on the board. Very, very nice. All right, we're not gonna get skunked this time. Our very first pack in the return to the Pokemon Pack Battle. Or sorry, not the Pokemon Pack. Man, Major League Pack Battles. Oh my gosh! Wow, that takes me back, man. We competed in the Pokemon Pack Battle League for their very first and only season, uh, right before I joined MLPB. So I don't even know why I said that. That was funny. All right, so our first pack returning to the Major League Pack Battles. Four points right off the bat. Can't argue with that at all. Pack number two. We've got a Snorunt. Chansey, Machop, Alolan Sandshrew, Murkrow, Komala, Multi-Switch, Watchhog, Reverse Hollow Choice Band, man, I should have picked Choice Band, holy cow, and a Waylord Non-Hollow Rare. So we still sit at four total points. Oh no, not him. Oh no. I don't even know if I want to even see the rest of this pack now. One, two, three, there's our energy card, and... Away we go! So we got this thing. Ew. Man, I don't like Heliopto. Machop, Slowpoke, Alolan Vulpix, Beldum, Lampant. Hey, we got it! Two more points! Pseudowoodo! Very nice. That gives us six points. We've got a... Oh, oh, oh. Well, Pseudowoodo, guess you didn't want to stay up. Field Blower, Reverse Hollow Rareway Quaza. Yes, that gives us seven points and a Hollow Mudsdale. Eight points for our very first week back in the MLPB. That is how we do it, guys. Start off strong. Oh, my goodness. 
So we got two reverse hollow rares. We got our competitive pick. Two, or we got one, two, three, four points there. Mudsdale gives us six points. I'm sorry, we got nine points. Tapu Coco gives us nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Yo, I am so sorry, Cats Meowth. I hope you pull something that <laughs> don't get completely skunked, because I'm going to feel bad for this. Uh, <laughs> nine points out of three packs. You cannot argue with that whatsoever. All right, well, guys, check out the link below to the Cats Meowth and her Madison Meowth video, and let us know who wins in the comments section down below, making a strong start to the MLPB. Once again, super happy about this. All right, guys, well, next Sunday, 4 p.m., actually every single Sunday, 4 p.m., minus week number four, we will be posting Major League Pack Battle videos, so we hope to see you guys there. Looking forward to the rest of the season, and we will see you guys next time. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Comment down. Down below subscribe for more tcg content and check out the cats meowth madison meowth video we'll see you guys next time i'm professor k for the pokemon evolutionaries and your gainesville grit ninjas see you guys next time